Good day everyone. We will be presenting COVID-19 pandemic response in the province of Benguet. This presentation will answer the following questions. How we are managing the pandemic and what strategies guide the implementation of our activities. Incident command system was implemented for COVID-19 response in the province of Benguet. With the Provincial Interagency Task Force as the decision and policy making body, the Emergency Operations Center as the coordinating body, the response clusters, response groups, and the incident management team as the implementing arms. With the activation of the Provincial Interagency Task Force, several policies have been passed to address pressing issues on COVID-19. All of these have been fully implemented in the whole province of Benguet. Emergency Operations Center is fully activated with EOC Managers, Operations Coordinators, Planning Coordinators, Logistics Coordinators, and Finance and Administration Coordinators. All the departments of the Provincial Local Government Unit are working hand-in-hand -hand to provide resources needed and address interagency linking and coordinating. Provincial Government of uh, the Province of Benguet activated its own uh, incident command system to respond to the uh, current crisis brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. Within the uh, structure of the uh, incident command system is the uh, emergency operation center which is located at the second floor of uh, the provincial capital building. The uh, EOC or the emergency operation center is managed by uh, uh, two EOC managers from the provincial government. Emergency Operation Center functions as the uh, coordination and support center. It is where the uh, coordination of uh, information and uh, resources to support the uh, incident uh, management activities normally takes place. It serves as uh, the uh, central command and the uh, central facility that is responsible in carrying out the uh, emergency management and ensuring the uh, continuity of uh, the operation. Part of emergency operation center are the operation section which uh, develops tactical uh, organization and directs all the resources to support the uh, incident uh, management to support rather the uh, incident action plan. Another one is planning section which uh, develops the uh, incident action plan which uh, serve as a guide in the accomplishment of uh, the objective. We also have the uh, logistics uh, section which provides the uh, resources and all other services needed to support the operation such as uh, the facilities, the transportation, communication, equipment, and foods. The last one is uh, the finance and admin section, which provides and monitors uh, all the uh, financial aspect of the incident and uh, at the same time provides overall fiscal guidance. Among the strategies that were uh, adopted in response to the current crisis are the establishment of the uh, checkpoints and choke points in uh, the uh, exit and entrance uh, points of the uh, province. We also have the uh, establishment of the uh, provincial temporary quarantine facilities 
apart from the uh, temporary quarantine facilities established in the different municipalities. We also uh, establish uh, triaging and uh, testing areas and uh, the conduct of uh, contact tracing. And apart from that, we, uh, the, uh, we also conduct uh, monitoring of patients positive with coronavirus. The incident management team is activated with command and general staff. Operations of the incident management team focus on the management of the provincial temporary quarantine facility, waste management, sanitation and disinfection, transport and communication, as well as law and order. The incident management team was activated when there was one returning overseas Filipino that tested positive and the contingency plan was also activated. The operation center was at the provincial health office and we were focusing on disease surveillance on the PUMs and PUIs. When we were given additional objectives, the incident management team was expanded province-wide. Now, we have a restructured incident management team to accomplish the objectives of facilitating the management of the locally stranded individuals and also the returning overseas Filipinos. This is now our temporary quarantine facility of the province. It is a 20-bed capacity, but we often have more than uh, 20 returning OF and uh, locally stranded individuals. So all the provincial health activities are aligned to the National Action Plan for COVID-19. The DITR strategies detect, isolate, treat, recover, and reintegrate. To detect COVID-19 cases, checkpoints are established, contact tracing is conducted, expanded laboratory testing is implemented, and information technology systems are utilized. With the leadership, of our PNP, PFP, Army, and other men in uniform, as well as our barangay and municipal peace and order clusters, checkpoints have contributed as lines for detection of cases since the implementation of community quarantine. Contact tracing in Benguet is guided by three processes, track, record, and report. Tracking of activities and close contact of the case, recording in the contact tracing forms and Benguet designed COVID diary, and reporting through appropriate channels of the DOH and DILG. Contact tracing process starts with notification of positive cases by DOH Regional Office to the Provincial Health Office, after which PHO doctors inform concerned Municipal Health Officers, Chief of Hospitals and Disease Reporting Units about the case including the contact details of the patient. Local chief executives and contact tracing teams are then notified by the municipal health officers. At the provincial level, disease surveillance officers closely coordinate with case investigators in the municipalities and health facilities. Simultaneously, members of the patient management and monitoring team and Benguet General Hospital are informed for possible admission. Information gathered are filled out in the following forms and utilized by the Provincial Health Office, Office um, Idoho, and Yesu. Form 1 contains the profile of the COVID-positive patient. Form 2 contains close contact details. And we also have the patient's diary, diary which contains activities and places of travel and names of close contacts during the day for the past 14 days. To facilitate intermunicipality contact tracing, the diary is posted in the Municipal Health Officer's social media group chat. For travel and contacts in Baguio, PHO notifies Baguio City Epidemiology Unit. Travel and contacts outside the province and region are taken care of by PIDOHO and DOH RESU. For the laboratory testing and dissemination of results, Municipal Local Government Units and other disease reporting units prepare specimens and case investigation forms in two copies, one for PESU and one for RESU, and these are submitted to the Provincial Health Office. Information in the CIF are encoded in the COVID-CAIA application by the DRUs 
wherein two to three accounts per DRU were provided by DOH Central Office. If information were not encoded in the COVID Kaya app, DRU personnel are assisted by the PHO and PDOHO prior to a submission of specimens to the RESU. To facilitate dissemination of results, line lists sent by RESU are downloaded by a point person in the provincial surveillance team, segregated per municipality, and sent through email to respective DRUs. DRUs are notified about the email sent. These line lists are uploaded to Google Drive and can be accessed by selected PHO and PDOHO managers. Individual results are downloaded, downloaded by the same point person in the provincial surveillance team. These are uploaded to the Google Drives and can be accessed by their respective LGUs and DRUs. Congressman Eric Goyap donated an RT-PCR machine to Benguet General Hospital but has been and is still being operated by Baguio General Hospital and Medical Center while the laboratory in Benguet is still under construction. With the presence of said machine, the number of specimens to be submitted in a day were not limited, which facilitated prompt detection of COVID-positive cases isolation of patients and contact tracing. So as far as information system is concerned in the province of Benguet regarding COVID Kaya, um, certain municipalities has already started exploring or utilizing the um, tunnel COVID. Now there is only one that is in the municipality of Trinidad and we're lucky that uh, all the reporting units or disease reporting units, the DRUs in the province are already using the COVID Kaya as the official reporting system. Now, uh, the province has also already um, assigned a person who is in charge of um, using or analyzing the reports using the faster. And that is actually, is, which was, is actually lodged at the office of the PDRRM. And, but this is in coordination with the provincial health office. Confirmed COVID-19 cases are isolated in identified health facilities including temporary treatment and management facilities. Quarantine of suspects are being done by the municipal local government units in identified community quarantine facilities including the provincial temporary quarantine facility located at Wangal, La Trinidad, Benguet. Also, Barangay Health Emergency Response Teams monitor cases who are on home quarantine. Based from the Memorandum Circular Number 2020-067 of the DILG, all LGUs are mandated to have their own quarantine facilities. As for Benguet, we have 14 municipal quarantine facilities and 61 community quarantine facilities. While for the provincial government, we have two provincial temporary quarantine facilities. The first is a 40-bed capacity facility that is currently housing and or receiving ROFs and LSIs. For the second facility, it is being prepared to be used for persons who will test positive and are asymptomatic. The Emergency Operations Center also has been assisting locally stranded individuals and returning overseas Filipinos through its Hatid Sundo operation. To minimize exposure, the EOC makes sure that LSIs and ROFs are being fetched from the doorsteps of their point of origin to the doorstep of the temporary provincial quarantine facility. Triaging and management of locally stranded individuals and overseas Filipinos are coordinated through the EOC and managed by the incident management team. The LSIs and OFs are transported from the point of origin to the Provincial Temporary Quarantine Facility and they are triaged and assessed for testing and or for isolation or quarantine. The status are coordinated with concerned municipal local government units. LSIs and overseas Filipinos assessed needing to be quarantined in municipal quarantine facilities are endorsed to the local government units. 
while LSIs and overseas Filipinos assess not needing testing, isolation, or quarantine in quarantine facilities, or those for home quarantine are endorsed to concerned LGUs for transport and monitoring of the Barangay Health Emergency Response Teams. As agreed upon by the Provincial Interagency Task Force, Testing, isolation, and quarantine of LSIs and OFs follow this matrix. The asymptomatic with completed quarantine period and with negative RT-PCR test from place of origin are advised to undergo home quarantine and are endorsed to local government units for monitoring. The asymptomatic and with negative RT-PCR test but has not completed 14 days quarantine will be subjected to RT-PCR testing at the triage facility and will be for quarantine at Municipal Local Government Unit Quarantine Facility or Provincial Temporary Quarantine Facility until release of results. This is being done after cases have been detected through random testing. Those who turned out positive has negative RT-PCR test in Manila. The symptomatic, whether or not with completed quarantine from place of origin and even with negative RT-PCR results in Manila will be subjected for testing and management of symptoms in appropriate health facilities. The Benguet General Hospital has been identified as the COVID-19 hospital for the province of Benguet. So our goal in this COVID-19 fight first is to prioritize safety of our health workers. We have the provision of appropriate PPEs to our health workers according to the WHO guidelines on the rational use of PPE. So we have the procurement of PPEs and bulk of it were from the uh, province of Benguet, the PLGU, from the central office of the DOH, from the office of the congressman and other different donors. We have also the provision of food, we call it the food for works for the uh, health workers that is being provided by the province of Benguet. Next is the transportation from going home and in of the hospital for our health workers. Uh, aside from the available vehicles in the hospital, we have also the vehicle from the uh, office of the governor. We have also one from the Provincial General Services Office, one for Junior from a board member uh, Nestor Fung Wan Jr. and the BSU Coaster. These are being used by our employees. The accommodation for our health workers, most of our health workers were accommodated at the Gladiola Center owned by the Benguet State University. Almost 60 health workers uh, were accommodated in that area. And for almost one month, the elegant hotel at Magsaysay, uh, Baguio City, as coordinated by the Office of the Congressman, for almost 30 days, our health employees also stayed there. And until uh, May 10, 2020, where they transferred at the National Irrigation Administration Training Center. So for the hazard pay for our employees, although the hospital has no funds for the payment of the hazard pay, uh, the provincial local government of Benguet have subsidized the hospital uh, for five mil with 5 million to be used for the hazard pay and for the SRA of our employees. So our next goal to have a continuous service to our clients especially to our Kababayan Kailian Ibenget and those who are in need from nearby areas. So we would like to maximize our available services and resources. All of our private rooms and two major wards were converted into a COVID isolation area. So all the patients who are COVID suspect were admitted in these isolation rooms. The capacity, we have isolation for suspect and probable patient, 44, can accommodate 44 patients, which includes four critical care. COVID confirmed ward for cohorting, we have 13 available uh, beds. Procurement of equipment and supplies. So last Friday, our governor, military class, turned over major equipment 
four ventilators, seven cardiac monitors, one anesthesia machine, five UV sterilizers. This is only a part of the 11 million allotted by the province for the procurement of equipment from the Bayanihan Act Fund. Good day, everyone. This is the identified Provincial Temporary Quarantine Facility 2 for the province of Benguet. It is a 35-bed capacity which is, uh, which is designed to cater to our positive asymptomatic COVID-19 patients. In this pandemic, we need to empathize, especially to the plight of the person with positive COVID or if I may refer to them as PPC. For us to help fight COVID, let us empathize with all, especially the persons positive of COVID. Mental health and psychosocial services are provided prioritizing the cases, affected families, and attending healthcare workers. These services have been provided by the local government units in partnership with the Benguet State University and Philippine National Red Cross Benguet Chapter. Amidst the pandemic, the non-COVID pathway has been maintained. Delivery of public health services were provided to the homes and health facilities in the local government units. These were through mobilization of LGU health personnel, DOH Human Resources for Health, and Barangay Health Emergency Response Teams, or the BHIR. The Provincial Interagency Task Force has issued Executive Order 2020-024, reiterating the mandatory wearing of face masks or other type of protective equipment in public places. Another issuance is Executive Order 2020-023, directing all government offices and business establishments in the province of Benguet to ensure provision of hand wash stations within the vicinity accessible to all clients and employees. Several municipal ordinances and policies have been issued as well by the municipal local government units. Sample municipal issue 1 is the Ordinance Number 20, 2020 of La Trinidad Benguet. This is known as La Trinidad Workplace Prevention and Control of COVID-19 Ordinance. This issuance emphasizes compliance to mandatory workplace safety and health standards. In this ordinance, it was reiterated that hand washing shall always be observed inside workplaces, including provision of hand washing fixtures for customers in business establishments. This ordinance also includes the contamination of the workplace as per guidelines of the World Health Organization. Municipal local government units also initiated infection prevention and control measures through usage of resources available. An example of this is the fabrication of the hand wash trues in the municipality of La Trinidad, which is also the central business district for the province of Benguet. One of the activities of La Trinidad and the RRM is the uh, fabrication of our wash through, the one where we uh, usually install it in front of our business establishments or open areas where usually our citizens go. The original design was actually from uh, our water district, which is a member also of our wash cluster. And they uh, proposed to make something out of a PVC drum, which is framed with uh, steel angle bars. When they installed this first in the municipal grounds of La Trinidad LGO Municipal Hall, we thought we need to fabricate more for the schools, for business establishments, for health centers in the 16 barangays of La Trinidad. As of now, we already distributed about 32 pieces of such a wash through for hand washing. 16, in 16 schools and 16 health centers all around La Trinidad Benguet. Disinfection and other wash activities have been implemented by municipal and provincial wash teams, especially in public areas and facilities. A relief response group was mobilized 
since March to reach remote communities and geographically isolated areas affected by the community quarantine in the province of Benguet. Despite all the challenges confronting us, we shall remain steadfast in our commitment to serve our constituents. We will continue to plan together and work together so that hand in hand we will see our goals turn to reality to make the region a progressive, resilient and peaceful heaven for our people. In the province of Penguet where COVID-19 cases are closely monitored, we are proud to say that almost all admitted patients at the Benguet General Hospital have recovered. This was made possible through the support and cooperation of our healthcare workers who have sacrificed so much for the welfare of our people. We serve, we love, we heal as one. We will serve, we will love, we will heal as one. We serve, we love, and we heal as one. We serve, we love, we heal as one.